What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla back again with another AFL Tips and Predictions video. Thank you for joining me, as always. I always appreciate you guys being here. We're going to look ahead to round 19, look back on round 18, as we normally do, to kick things off. Round 18 was actually pretty fruitful for myself. I got 7 out of 9 correct tips. As you can see here, we let off strong with the Geelong game. Didn't think it was going to be that big of a blowout, though. Tipped against my boys Richmond and they came out and absolutely shocked me, but the biggest news out of that weekend was Dustin Martin going down with a kidney injury. He's out for the rest of the year. Broke my fucking heart, that news. I still have every faith in the fact that Richmond can make finals, but whether or not we can get deep into finals without Dustin Martin, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not, I'm not going to even think about the thought. But we move on. Port Adelaide managed to get the job done against St. Kilda. The Bulldogs against the Gold Coast. Melbourne against Hawthorne. Essendon against North. Carlton upsetting Collingwood, but I did say to my Blue Bagger supporters that I'll be alright with the Blue Baggers getting up for you guys. And then West Coast and Sydney finishing the game off strong. And I'm still perplexed with why they did what they did with some of the players of the Sydney and GWS game. They All those players had been together all that time. Why did they nitpick certain players out? I'm just a little bit pissy because I copped a couple of donuts on Supercoach because a couple of those players were on my team. But, 7 out of 9. I'm very happy with that outcome. How did we go? I actually haven't looked at the... Uh, at the live team here to see if there was anything above seven. There is. There are a few eights. Did we get a nine? Did we get a nine? Let's have a look. I'm going to look at my secondary screen actually for this one. So, eight seems to be the highest amount tipped. So, we're starting with Dominic T. Max W. And then we scroll up a bit to Leanne M. And Vaughn Q. Congratulations to you guys for getting 8 out of 9 correct tips and being the highest amount tipped for round 18. Hey, that's pretty good. Vince, uh, still holding on to a 2 point lead over chip 16 and Brighton 75 and then you've still got a couple of 102 you've got 101 you've got 100 the game is still open folks it's going to be a very interesting run home speaking of running home let's have a look at the week that's going to be shall we kicking things off on Friday night and I do apologize this game well not this game but this video has come out only a day prior. I've been flat tracked by a lot of things in my life right now and it kind of got away from me. So I do apologize and I thank you for bearing with me. But Friday night at Marvel Stadium, we have Port Adelaide hosting Collingwood. I'm going to go Port Adelaide. They're going to win by 31 points. Uh, this is where Port Adelaide now, if they want a top four finish, being that they've now been able to sneak ahead of Brisbane, they need to win games like this. Collingwood, I think at this point in time, are only playing for respect. But they've been looking mighty impressive under Robert Harvey. I think Robert Harvey's all but locked up the job over at Collingwood. Just my opinion. But Port Adelaide for me, Friday night. Saturday kicks off back at Marvel Stadium again. We've got Carlton taking on North Melbourne. I'll be backing Carlton in. Not discrediting North Melbourne, because North Melbourne, this is a very winnable game for them when they play at their best. But seeing what Carlton did to Collingwood, especially in the last quarter last week, cannot back against Carlton here. Gabba, the Q Clash. Brisbane taking on Gold Coast. I don't think Brisbane is going to lie down against Gold Coast like they did against Richmond. I'm still shell-shocked a little bit to see Richmond did to Brisbane what they did. Because I was getting rather mouthy the last time Brisbane and Richmond played in Brisbane 1. And I was saying that I'd love to see Brisbane and Richmond go head-to-head -head with 100% healthy teams. And in the end, 
a less healthy Richmond compared to the first game that they played defeated Brisbane. I, I can't get my head around that. But I don't think they lose two in a row. Brisbane quite comfortably here. Optus Stadium. West Coast St. Kilda. I will be going West Coast. However, this is a game St. Kilda could prove an upset in. And if they want to play finals, this is a game they have to put, you know, that upset win toward. But I think West Coast, they've been down the last month incredibly down but I think the win that they picked up last week is enough to build that momentum to move forward again because they're a momentum team West Coast and I think they'll get the job done quite comfortably at home MCG Melbourne Bulldogs is this a fight for top spot on the ladder it will be it will be whoever wins this game will be sitting on top of the ladder and I am going to back in the Bulldogs to get the job done here. I still think the Bulldogs are the Premiership favourite at this point in time. I can envision them holding the cup more than I can envision Melbourne holding the cup. And I was saying that even when Melbourne were on that streak where they weren't being defeated. You know, that undefeated streak. But yeah, I think the Bulldogs are a little bit more well-rounded. Um, but hey, that's just my opinion. Everyone's entitled to them. I'm not discrediting Melbourne at all. They've had a great season. Personally, I think the Bulldogs have been just that little bit better overall. And Saturday rounds out at Marvel Stadium with Adelaide Crows taking on Hawthorne. And I'm going to back the Hawks to get up here. I think they have the youth that are coming through are really hitting their straps really hard. Um, Adelaide, you know, they've got the, the pieces in place to be able to win, but they seem to be falling short of the marker where, where they shouldn't be. And it's exciting to see two clubs here that are basically rebuilding what they've got. And you've got one that is struggling a little bit behind the eight ball. And Hawthorne, even though they're getting smacked some weeks, they can still take a lot of positives out of their game because the youngsters that they're playing are being exposed to the game. And they're showing a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of uh, skill, a lot of talent. So I think Hawthorne will get it done here. Sunday at Metricon, Sydney taking on Fremantle. I'm going to back Sydney. I said it last week. I'm pretty sure I said it the week before that. Sydney are officially my dark horse for the Premiership. Um, I've been saying it for a few weeks off camera, um, even a couple of months now off camera. Um, whenever I get together with my old man to watch the footy, I've always mentioned that I feel Sydney could be the team that proves the biggest upset come finals because no one's really talking about them. However, now the media are starting to talk about them. Fuck you, media. But I think Sydney get it done against Fremantle quite comfortably at Metricon. Then at the MCG, after a failed attempt to get it moved to GMHBA LBGTQ UE ZYW Stadium, we have Geelong taking on Richmond. And this is going to be another week where I tip with my head and not my heart. And I should have tipped with my heart last week because that would have got me 8 out of 9. But I'm going Geelong here. And that is on the back of no Dustin Martin. I would have actually backed Richmond if Dustin Martin had played because he stands up in the big games. But let's be honest here, Dustin Martin hasn't had that big of a year. He's been uh, behind the eight ball quite a bit, very sluggish. Um, he's had bursts where he looks great and kind of reminds us why he's one of the best in the competition, but it hasn't been consistent enough like previous years. So I think even though Richmond are going to be without him for the rest of the year, I think the time off will serve him well enough to get his body right and be good to go for 2022. I'd love to see Richmond get up and win this game because that would shut a lot of the naysayers up. I still feel Richmond can make finals, as I mentioned earlier, but I don't know how deep we're going to run into finals without Dusty. But with one player out, another player comes in, opportunity for a youngster to get some game time. We had MP400, Matty Parker played his first game last week. He looked okay. Uh, some of the youngsters that are coming through are looking good. 
So there's still a lot Richmond can take out of their season, but I think here Geelong are going to prove too tough. And Metricon Stadium rounds out the round with Essendon taking on GWS. I'm going to back Essendon. They're actually priming to play finals this year, and that's actually quite impressive, um, considering a lot of people have been writing them off. Uh, GWS, if they want a chance for finals, they have to win this game. I think Essendon's going to be too strong, though. So I'm going to lock that in. Rehashing my tips. We are looking at Port Adelaide, Carlton, Brisbane, West Coast, the Western Bulldogs. I'm pretty sure that was before the screen decided to speed up. Hawthorne, Sydney, Geelong, and Essendon to round things out. That's it for the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. My certainty for the round would definitely have to be Port Adelaide over Collingwood. Upset of the round would be Richmond defeating Geelong. In Geelong, with no Dustin Martin. I think that's the, the biggest upset of the round here. Uh, the other upset of the round for me, if you want to throw a spanner in the works, would be the Gold Coast defeating Brisbane in the Q Clash. Do leave a like on the video if you have been enjoying this content. As I mentioned, I'm thinking of doing a a video based on Richmond's year, talking about the dynasty, all that kind of stuff. Is it over? Just recapping the season for them. If that's something you want to see, I know a couple of you have said, yes, go ahead with it, but I'm asking you guys again. If you want to see it, let me know in the comment section down below. If you've stumbled across this video and this is the first time you've hit the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it a lot if you hung around. Plenty of other AFL stuff planned moving forward. I want to get more AFL content out to you guys. It's going to be a good time. Hit me up on social media. Links are down below. There's a new Discord server as well. So if you've got Discord, hit me up on that. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. Good luck to your teams this weekend. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Continue.